good evening. <laughs> I never vlog at this time and I should have vlogged a little bit earlier today to show you guys the chaos. <laughs> What's outside? This is my face. Oh, come on, look, look. What, what's, out, wait, what's outside? It's not funny. Uh, Cole, I wouldn't say it's funny. Oh, no, it's What is it? Which, my camera, there we go, it's focusing. Look at that. It is insane. Just move. So that is what a wildfire looks like, y'all. Yeah, I'm not really sure how many miles, but we know the area that this is in, and this is behind uh, my friend's parents' house. And um, it looks crazy right now, because obviously in the daytime you couldn't see the flames. You could just see smoke. So now we can see like the flames, and it's crazy, guys. So yeah, we have had 50 mile an hour winds today, several fires in the state, like a lot of power outages, power lines are down. It is the most bizarre thing that's happened in like a really long time where I live. Um, it's super dry, so fires are starting really easily. It's really scary, you guys. I honestly, like several times a day, found my OCD kicking in like really bad because I kept checking which is something you do with OCD but I kept looking out the window several times today uh just worried um I looked on my phone it says wildfires can travel 14 miles an hour um that's really quick um a lot of damage can be done um there's also been several structure fires and roofs have been blown off buildings. I mean, guys, it is crazy. Cole's playhouse in the back that you guys saw that he goes out and plays in, the wind completely picked it up and just took it. Like, um, it was bad. It's out in the yard. It's just laying upside down and the roof is off of it. But toys all over the yard. But not only that, just nobody could go outside today. It was that bad. I'm really surprised the kids were even in school today. Like, I don't think... It got really bad until the afternoon is when I think people realized like okay there's some bad stuff happening um because I happened to be looking out my bedroom window about one o'clock I think it was today can't really remember now maybe it was earlier than that and I just was like looking at my window you know I was just looking around at everything it was such a beautiful blue sky day and then I saw this like cloud of smoke just like going up over there where you guys saw the red flames. Just like, and I'm like, what is that? And then before I knew it, it took off so fast. And I'm like, oh my God, something's on fire. And then I was like, is someone's house on fire? But then I realized we got my husband's binoculars and was looking and it was a freaking forest fire. And we're like, I started panicking a little bit guys cause that's seriously right in front of my house. <laughs> and there was a fire over in town, which I don't know guys. I don't know if I'll be sleeping very well. I'll tell you that. What's gonna happen? I will update you guys tomorrow and I'll keep you guys updated just to make sure like everything in my area is okay because I showed you guys what it looked like outside. It looks insane. The next day, still burning y'all. Crazy.
give odors a bath, so it smells like dog, and it stinks. I'm gonna show you guys my bathtub real quick. This was the excuse that I was needing to clean my bathtub, y'all. Otis, this is probably the longest that I went in a long time without giving him a bath. Like, it's been a while, and yeah, got some hair in the shower, you know, the whole thing needs freaking cleaned. Uh, so I thought I'd film that for you guys, but it is later. As you guys saw earlier, me and my husband went out for a while. We went to a, like, thrift type place um, that sells used furniture and just like stuff like we bought um cole's end table that's in his room from this place i've also bought my chair there that i sit on on my computer um because you kind of can't beat the prices for stuff um it's really cheap so we found cole another chair um here in an upcoming video i'm gonna do a little um kind of like a diy project and uh we have this old time desk that my grandma gave us and I'm going to put it in Cole's room but I need to kind of put some kind of stuff on it. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet and then we bought him a chair today and I'm going to spray paint it black. So in the upcoming videos you guys will have that to look forward to but allergies are kicking my butt y'all. My eyes are swollen um, like this whole last week I haven't felt the best because of the allergies. Um, it sucks but we're dealing with it um but yeah i don't want to clean this tub now <laughs> we went to fox's for dinner and got a wedgie it was so good they were we got ham and cheese wedgies but yeah oh my god it was good tonight hit the spot originally was gonna make hamburgers but my hamburger didn't thaw in time so we're gonna have those tomorrow night um i'll have to take you guys out and show you the fire situation right now it just <sighs> ended up on the other mountain now which means it's spread it is really bad um, um last night there was a family i'm not really sure where they live at but it was like a local family that their house burned down so like it's really bad guys <sighs> um i'm blessed to be over here and luckily there hasn't been any fires like around our area you know even though that's like pretty close outside my I don't know how many miles away that is uh, my husband guessed maybe like seven miles I don't really know maybe further than that I don't 100% know how many miles but I don't know it was kind of hard to go to bed last night I'll say that but we're gonna clean this dirty shower
about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for nostalgic movie trailer my cousin sent to me <laughs> that I am just so stoked for okay have you guys watched Beetlejuice I my husband okay I was like I asked him did you watch that no what the classic movie that is one of my favorites um, I love that movie so much um, old movie. I forget if they made that in the 90s or if it was made in the 80s. I don't know. But anyways, it's a great movie. Love it. They're coming out with number two. My cousin released the trailer to me this morning and I watched it and um, Jenna Ortega's in it. I really like her too. So I'm really glad she's in it. But all like some of the same. Okay, first of all, Beetlejuice wouldn't be Beetlejuice without Michael Keaton and he's in it. Yay. Wona Ryder is in it. So we got the same freaking characters. I'm stoked guys for that i can't wait i love when they keep the same people <laughs> and it's not new like other than you know but yeah i'm so excited to say that good morning um i gotta take cold to the school bus so i'm getting dressed and today's friday so gotta finish cleaning up the house today don't know what else i'm gonna do today i need to get a walk in because i haven't walked for a couple days and I want to get back into that because I've just been feeling super lazy. But like I said, I think it's because of my, all my allergies and stuff. So I want to get back to it. I just walked a mile. So we got that out of the way. It's 11 o'clock. I love Fridays because I'm here by myself all day, which I love. <laughs> I love my family, but I love being alone too. Like, I don't know. I just, I thrive, you know, I love having alone time. So I've been just enjoying a quiet morning with my animals. Like I said, me and Otis walked. I was thinking about going down to rake some more gravel into the road. So we might do that in a little bit. But um, when I'm editing a video, guys, it really helps me to go somewhere else in the house to edit other than my bedroom. Because at my desk, I just get bored of that. And it helps to get more motivated to take my laptop and go somewhere else and edit. Um, I was trying to explain that to my husband, but... I don't know some of you guys that ain't content creators might not know what that feels like but like for me it's just nice to get up and go edit somewhere else and then um like i said i think i'm gonna go down and work in the driveway a little bit and listen to some music while i do that and maybe film a little bit for you guys to give you some outdoor motivation that stuff will be coming very soon because we have plans to do our flower beds we got plans to clean the shed. I mean, all that stuff will be coming very soon. We need to finish painting the living room, which I kind of forgot about, to be honest. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, we need to finish painting. We want to do that before Cole gets out of school. So we'll do that probably soon as well. This bedspread that my mom, someone she worked for, gave it to her, and then she gave it to me, but it's a king size. This is only a queen, queen bed, I think. But... It doesn't, I mean, it's not dragging the floor, which is good, but it brightens this room up a whole lot more now, like, because the one that was on there was about as dark as those curtains, and this is a West Virginia themed room, which is blue and yellow, so I thought, well, let's just put it on the bed and see how it looks, and I really liked it. My husband really liked it, so I originally was going to put it in my bedroom for summer, for like a little summer bedspread, so it might get rotated around the house. Um, but yeah, I want to just, I'm really loving my room guys now that it's done and everything. And I'm, I cannot wait to do Cole's room in the fall. That'll be super fun to do his room. We're going to paint his walls too. And like I said, we're going to pick out some water, waterproof plank flooring for his room. So I'm thinking about going with a lighter floor in his room, but we'll wait and see. Cause I don't know what color paint we're going to choose for the wall and all that. But I'm excited to do some more projects around the house. With the lights out, dark with my own doubts.
not looking back Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde A classic cliche, we're on the run This is what we waited for the day I got all the way down the road on the both sides the gravel was all the way out in the yard here and there's still a little patch right here that I didn't get but guys I'm dying my shoulders hurt uh, it's going on about an hour and 42 minutes I've been doing this so I am done I'm gonna go back up here and make me a smoothie and I'm gonna relax a little bit but yeah this end through here was really hard to do I only did this little piece here because that is really thick over in that like ditch area it's bad it's like really really bad y'all but um yeah <sighs> we was gonna get a new load of stuff for our road but we decided not to do it this year because we needed to rake all this gravel back where it needs to go and now that I did the bottom part of the hill we still have a lot of gravel to be honest once we get it back out into the road how it's supposed to be it'll be good all right we're gonna make some burgers in the air fryer um i gotta see what kind of seasoning i have in here but i liked the montreal steak seasoning for the burger i do have that so just some of this and then i thought about adding some worcestershire <laughs> that's what i call it sauce because I like the taste of that, and I felt like that would be good on the burgers. Um, I think I used Lipton onion soup mix one time, too, and it was good. But I just thought about trying something to put on the burgers while they fry in the air fryer. And then I got a lovely little tomato we're going to slice up here. It's been sitting here for a while. Um... And then we're either gonna do french fries for the side or I was trying to think if I wanted to make a vegetable because I really need to eat a vegetable guys it's been it's been a few days Peas. We're 
gonna steam some peas and then I'm making my husband some tea. But um, I did marinate a little bit of that, well, it's not marinating, I don't guess, but I put some of that Horseshire sauce in a bowl and like kneaded the burger down through there with some of this seasoning. Then I put some more on top on both sides. So, should have a little flavor. I like flavor, I told you guys, I like flavor. I normally do like onion powder, garlic powder too, but I just did this today, I don't know, we'll see. I haven't even made homemade burgers for a while just cause, I don't know why. Just forgot, I guess. Sometimes that happens where I like forget a meal that we like, but we haven't made in a while. This is really good. I went ahead and put a little bit of that in my peas. Stuff's good. Good morning, guys. We just got back. We did a very small, very small Walmart pickup. Um, we got some Go-Gurts. We got stuff to make um, a cheesecake with that I'm really excited about. We found these gluten-free pie crusts at Walmart. And the reason why I got gluten-free is because my brother's girlfriend is in, staying down there at my parents, and she doesn't eat anything with gluten in it. So I wanted her to be able to have a piece, but... I was mainly making one for my mom for her birthday because tomorrow is her birthday. So I wanted to try this recipe. Hopefully it's good because I'm going to feel bad if it ain't. <laughs> but um, I think it, it'll probably be good because what with sweetened condensed milk is not good, right? Because that stuff is so good. So it calls. I've got two of them because I'm going to make one for us too because my husband loves cheesecake. Okay. Yep. Coffee. Yeah, mom got coffee. What else did I get? I got some, so I got some more of my cold foam stuff to put on top, but they had French vanilla flavor. I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm going to try it in a little bit. Um, I've had the sweet cream and I've had the caramel macchiato. Both are very good, so I'm sure the French vanilla will be really good. Did you get those? Those are your favorite, ain't they? That's all we got. And so you, we went to Burger King and got two orders of French toast sticks for both of us this morning. Um, that's all we got from there. But yeah, um, this recipe is really simple, so I'm going to make it uh, with you guys to end off this vlog today. It's Saturday. It's raining today. Thank the Lord, guys. The rain is going to put the fires out, uh, or at least help with that. But it's been raining since last night. It's going to rain all day, I think, so that'll be really good. Like, God is good <laughs> that we got some rain because we needed it. These have to be room temperature. So you need cream cheese. And like I said, I'm making two. So that's why I got two of everything. Um, so you just need cream cheese. You're going to need some lemon juice. I got two lemons. I wasn't sure. I forget the amount of lemon juice you need. I think it's like a third of a cup. And then you need one can of sweetened condensed milk. You need a teaspoon of vanilla. And your pie crust, and I think that's it. It's a very minimal cheesecake recipe, so I'm excited to try it out. Um, and hopefully it's good. I watched um, Celebrating Appalachia here on YouTube. If you guys want to go check them out, it's the Presley Girl's mom. Um, my mom, mom got me watching them. But they, I like watching them because they're just like real down to earth people. They, they eat really healthy. They like eat everything from the garden. They do homemade, like they're homemakers. You can tell like they like gardening and I don't know. I just like them. I find them interesting and stuff. So I watched them and I got the recipe from her. She made it on her channel yesterday. I'm like, I'm going to try that cheesecake because it looks pretty good. He's like, can you try this? <laughs> He wants me to make coffee this morning. <laughs> no. All right, he wants me to try it. You can try my cold foam. You want to try this stuff? No. No, it's really good. I was completely out of coffee. <laughs> guys, I didn't sleep very good last night, so I'm tired today. Um, I was going to film a cleaning video for you guys today, but I don't know if I'm going to do that today or do it tomorrow now because, like I said, I'm just really tired and I don't, I don't know what we're going to get into today. Um, so I might just wait and do it some other time. I'm going to get a jump start on editing this video for you guys too. Thank you. I'm making it. Hold on. Wait, I gotta put my creamer in here. Mommy adds a little bit of creamer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Going in with the sweet cream Chobani creamer. That's really good. If you haven't tried Chobani creamers, they're delicious. And I gotta open it. Oop. Well, I guess that's good. Okay. Take it and now you gotta you gotta you gotta push your finger down on this thing. Push put your finger up top here. Here. <laughs> put your finger right here. Now push it. Push, push hard. You gotta push on the white thing, honey. Push on the white thing. Cole. You gotta put your finger here on the white thing. <laughs> Ready? Oh boy, I thanks. Want, I want one. You wanna try it? Ready? Did you get some? Mm, okay, some. no, it's for my coffee. You don't need all that sugar. <laughs> mm. They're all good. I haven't had one yet that I do not like. They're all really, really good. <laughs> Highly recommend it if you like cold foam like me. What are we gonna do today? What are me and you gonna do today? Yeah, mommy needs to eat that. I haven't even, guys, I was supposed to put this on my hamburger last night and I didn't do it. <laughs> I need to eat that tomato. Maybe I'll have a tomato sandwich today. Um, maybe, okay, so we're gonna, we'll come back. We're gonna make the pie, the, or the cheesecake. And then that'll be the end of this vlog so I can get this video up for you guys. But hope you guys are having a nice weekend. It's been kind of a rambly one, so I apologize. guys i did end up filming for the real clean bee we we got the laundry room done it took forever guys it's now one o'clock <laughs> um we're gonna go ahead and make that pie and end off this video so or I keep calling it a pie it's a cheesecake <laughs> same thing i guess right i don't know so i'm gonna see if i can get away with using my hand little hand mixer i have instead of busting out the kitchen aid because i just don't feel like doing all that so we'll see
pressure looks like. So I'm just going to try to divide them. So now what you want to do is you want to let them sit in the fridge. I didn't have quite enough lemon juice. It's, it just wasn't quite enough. So hopefully it still tastes good. I'll tell you guys that the batter tastes good. <laughs> but I can tell that um, if you really want that lemon flavor, make sure you got the one third all the way. Mine didn't, I thought two lemons would be enough, but it wasn't. So make sure that you, Get enough lemon juice. Here, you want this? Mm 